Something's concealed. Blocked. I hope there's another way in. No, we need to find something else. I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Banish yourself. So you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. You sure you want to come? Then I have to. I must. For Helen. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. We must press on. Stay close. Pity, I was enjoying this wee promenade.
Oh, fantastic. I think you can get down from here. Aye. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Still impressive. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice. I love doing that. Soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Car upon car rose to the surface, piled high with ore. Yeah. What's over here? More tunnels blocked off. More death in the dark. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. I told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Wouldn't fancy working here with the furnace is running. The work men did here was meant to make me rich. There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that?
Uh oh. They're coming. Did we miss a few? On your toes, Scotsman. I can help. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me. Miners abandoned their work when sickness hit. They worked till they could work no more. Enough powder to kill us all. Enough powder to kill you, you mean? Aye. Enough powder to kill me too. You are sent back. What's this? A makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? In a way. We knew the dying would try to fight. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. We play games as we wait to die. If you need a breather, we can do it here. Oh, 
harsh rules, Sebastian. Yours? I regret the necessity. Why would Pennington cut off the food? He decided to be worth it saving. Damn him to hell for it. Reason enough for a spectre to rage. Press on. The living quarters are ahead. If you insist. This isn't over yet. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. What is that? This is no ordinary spectre, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. Red, I see. Whatever's down here, they're not like that. Watch out, Spectre position. Ride it out. Red, look at this. Red, look at this. The words of a ghost may resonate here. They told us to stay put for a few days and we listened. When days turned to weeks, we made do. Now food's running low and they've bolted the doors. We must act now, before it's too late.
Red, come look. Still impressive. This on. Don't fret, we're coming for you. This creature, I, I don't think you're ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I, I don't know. I thought maybe you should me. See you, whatever is down there. What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Have you heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains. Spectral stains block the mechanism. Pennington thought everything was fine. Really? He lied. He manipulated them all. He must face justice. We want proof. What more do you need? The captain must pay. Why were these galleries walled up? I don't know. The walls were there when we got here. As if our predecessors had a reason for blocking it up. Yes, something's here.
Voices from the dead ripple here. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your foe! Obey the order! Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform won't protect your son! Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? They never learn, do they? Sebastian, what is this place? It's not... it's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. Traces of ghosts memory resonate here. We change the guard when they bring the food. The old ones scarper while the new ones are still busy with the victuals. While they have their hands full, we take them. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer. What's this? A black market shopping list? Can't be. We had few rations. Many starved. All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. Sebastian Priest, in the mine you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for it. You turned into a tyrant. 
until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark. Their, their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. You're a murdering coward. Blame Pennington all you want. We know it is a lie. I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. Pennington must pay. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes. You'll not get away with this, Sebastian. Come back here, you coward. I don't think he's coming back. The path is clear. We go deeper. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? I would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all. Christ, where are we now? Left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right. This was an atrocity. But she blamed the wrong man. A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit when you're restrained by the fear of falling. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, have you?
wasn't I always? The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself and hope ran out. But someone stove this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll. Stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. The stink has long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway.
we're getting close. A safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. Since the ripple of a past conversation. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. These chains, an echo, I think. Picked and culled. Perhaps is a key. An echo from the past drifts by. Another ghost rallying the wrath of lesser spectres to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye. The guilt of the people of New Eden.
Can you see it? Not yet. Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken pond, locked away, forgotten. Down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her. If we do, will you talk with us? Here it comes. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. No, 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 no! Bad timing. Her last strike weakened the chains. We So anything standing in it, I can see the weaker links. Get this next time. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Call on me, Red.
Ready and waiting. Let me go right now. I can see the weaker links. It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? The worst of men. Oh. When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, the faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. I've had enough mines for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Helen's grip on power was already fragile when we found out that her husband was a spy. Is Pennington any more trustworthy? He let everyone suffer so he wouldn't have to face his own cruelty. But well, eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs>
What is it? A rush after the fight. He'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no poet. Aye. Do you, though? Aye. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Tomb blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness, which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly, it's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess, your future and the future of many depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that I'll confess and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling and my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. 
You clapped her in irons and threw her in jail. You took her humanity. You recognised her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the minds, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. failed, Captain, as an officer, as a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. Tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the Nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, 
bright, sensitive kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Other innocents have paid the same price. I should know. That's not what I meant, but I'm glad to hear your feelings on it. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother. An experienced curandera. And listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me. But it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner we'll be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <sighs> Good night. <laughs>